Hello all, this is Erin coming to you live from my bathroom. You're once again in my dryer. Today, we will be talking about budgeting with an irregular income. Keep in mind that I know nothing about anything, but this is just my experience. So here are five tips that I have learned as far as budgeting with an irregular income. Number one, budgeting is essential. I think that it's absolutely essential if you think, oh, well, I have an irregular paycheck or, oh, well, I know what I spend on things. Like, you need to budget. You need to sit down and you need to budget. Trust me. Uh, it sets you achievable goals. Also, if you specifically set aside, okay, I have $50 this month to spend on food or if you're going to the grocery store, I have $50 that I can spend on food versus like, oh, I'll just buy whatever I want. And then you get out of there and you bought like... $300 worth of Oreos that you totally didn't need so set yourself a budget and it also like feels good when you like stay in your budget anyways tip number two with an irregular income is go with your lowest possible option if sometimes you make a thousand dollars a week but sometimes you make two hundred dollars a week don't budget for a thousand dollars a week that's just not gonna happen. I know like as waitresses or whatever, sometimes that's really hard to do. But go with your lowest uh, typical income and budget from there. So <laughs> that's pretty self-explanatory. Thing number three, your big bills need to come out first. So things like rent, your student loans, your car payments, all those things need to come out first. They need to be first out of your budget just right off the bat don't be I don't know putting $20 towards your tattoo fund when you haven't paid your rent even if you say like okay well my $600 rent is not equivalent to my $20 in this trust me take your big bills out first do them trust me number four am I on four make it fun I freaking love budgeting it's like one of my favorite things i probably do a budget like every month sometimes more frequently than that <laughs> because i just love i just love it it just makes me feel so good color code things use fancy fonts use like i don't know whatever usually when i have things coming out of my account they're in red and money that goes into my account is in green and it just like it looks great if you care to see like how i budget my specific budgeting Leave me a comment below. I'd be happy to do that. Um, also, thing number five, regularly review your budget. Go over it. Even if you don't feel like your bills have changed that month that much from the last time you did your budget, you still need to go over it because there might be things that you're like, oh, well, maybe this was essential, you know, over the summer. It was essential that I had this gym membership because I wanted to go swimming or whatever over the winter maybe it was essential you had a gym membership so you could go running over the summer maybe you don't need it because maybe you run outside or whatever just constantly be reviewing things and seeing like where you can reallocate funds for me specifically these are five things that are in reference to my very specific life thing number one new cars are expensive I love my car I drive a little skittle and I freaking love it it's wonderful but it's also very expensive knowing what I know now what I have bought it I don't know. I mean, I probably would have because not me, but I don't know. Hi, Arlo. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Say hello to my baby. Hello. Hello, handsome. You're so cute. Sorry about that. Thing number two. Woo! You okay? <laughs> Thing number two. There are always unexpected expenses. Always. That's where that surplus comes in, where if you budget for your $300 a week and you end up making $500 a week, that $200 should go into your emergency fund. If you think that you're not going to have emergencies, you're wrong. For example, in my car, I didn't budget for like excess funds because I have like bumper to bumper coverage because it's a new car and I was like, oh, anything that happens will be covered by the dealership. It'll be like totally great. And then my Arlo chewed one of my seat belts so that was like an expensive $300 repair that I had like not budgeted for and obviously it's hard to budget for unexpected things but I just mean you need to have money set aside for things that come up things that you need I have a friend who recently just needed to get her wisdom teeth out that she didn't think she would need to do that because she's like a grown adult but they started hurting so she needed to get that out and that's expensive 
Thing number three, full length mirrors are great. In my bedroom, I'd be happy to show you sometime. I My closet doors, I have like sliding closet doors and they're both full length mirrors and I write everything on them. Like I use them like whiteboards. I put uh, my calendar, my upcoming expenses, my to-do list, like everything color coded dry erase markers like all over my mirrors and it's like so calming for me to like wake up and like see everything all organized. I can just look up and see when I work and it's just, <laughs> it's blissful. Thing number four, budgeting can be so rewarding. Uh, if you know me, you know that I really enjoy traveling and that's something that is uh, a passion of mine. Ow. <laughs> and it is important to me. So for me, when I look at my budget and I see things like, okay, you need to cut out eating out because you spent $40 on eating out last month. Okay, well $40 for me is like a weekend getaway. Um, I'll, in, a, in a future video, I'll tell you how I travel for very little money. Um, so is it more important for me to eat Taco Bell every day or for me to like spend a weekend in Toronto? I don't know, you know, for me, I prefer the traveling. But budgeting can really be rewarding when you see like, wow, I'm just like, I've got things under control. I've like got my life together. I'm like, things are working out for me as opposed to just like, oh, I don't have any money. Ah. Five is accept advice. It is very hard for me when people give advice. Well, I don't know if I would say hard, but oftentimes I feel like I know what I'm doing because I do a lot of research and I you know, read a lot and I look into things and I watch things and I try my very hardest to be knowledgeable about different things. But I think as a young person, if you're watching this, I assume you're also a young person, we don't know everything. So if your parents tell you like, hey, maybe this isn't a good idea. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but it's worth taking a step and thinking about it and saying like, maybe this isn't a good idea for me. Except when people tell you like, hey, maybe think about this or maybe look into this or maybe, I know it's hard, but accept advice and not just in budgeting and all things. So those are my little budgeting tips. Obviously that was pretty vague. I didn't really tell you about like my specific budget. If you care, I would love to make a video on that and show you my budget book that's all like color coded and show you my mirrors and specifically like how it relates to my irregular income. And irregular hours and like all of the insane amount of bills that I pay so if that's something you're interested in leave a comment below also if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about leave a comment below and I would be happy to do that okay bye